good morning students now in last class i uh, talked about picasso i talked about cubism and uh, i uh, talked about uh, that blue period and rose period and uh, i talked about his famous paintings gornica and three musicians but uh, there are many things which i need to complete so in second uh, session i'll just say some of the paintings uh, which pablo picasso made during his lifetime uh, one painting i must say that is you i think you all must have seen that is uh, whipping head that is also a very famous painting now in this painting whipping head we can say that uh, pablo picasso made a woman and that uh, woman was in pain she was suffering and uh, she had a small child in her arm and uh, she was shouting it was basically a physical pain and it was basically a sense of injury he wanted to show and uh, it was basically uh, a scene of horror because uh, earlier also i said that uh, he made gonica painting it was a different painting and uh, i said uh, that uh, why artist make paintings that we need to understand and we need to know the history also this is very important for for people to know it is not about just simply a making painting it it's uh, all about the history it's all about the experience it's all about the uh, the way we look at things this is very important for all of us to understand now in whipping hand head also pablo picasso wanted to show the pain the horror the the uh, anger so many things he uh, wanted to show it was a victim now uh, i have said uh, something about uh, collage painting also and i have said uh, something about uh, his self portrait and uh, the most important thing is that while making painting or while making sculpture we use geometrical shapes and we use biomorphic shapes but uh, pablo picasso used both sometimes he used geometrical shapes sometimes he used biomorphic shapes also so uh, this this is also very important because sometimes we uh, artist think that uh, what to make what to draw and which form should i use so if we, if we understand that uh, we can use geometrical shapes as well as uh, biomorphic shape natural shapes then it it's easier for us to complete uh, a painting a sculpture also now uh, as i have said earlier also that throughout his life he experimented so as an artist i will also say that uh, it's very important for an artist to experiment to explore to investigate and pablo picasso was one of the best example for all of us uh, who can teach us that uh, through painting we have a lot to see we have a lot to experiment we have a lot to uh, explore and we have a lot to uh, investigate also so uh, for that i was pablo picasso was a great teacher for all of us and uh, i think i have said that uh, he was very confident and he was the person who said uh, 
that uh, I don't care for others. I don't care for others. And uh, I'm not interested in uh, what others are saying. It is such a bold and uh, very uh, tremendous uh, remark, he said, that uh, we should not uh, think about uh, the results, whether people like our work or not. We need to continue. We need to work in such a way uh, we should work. And uh, I, I, I said that uh, with Pablo Picasso also there was another artist. He was uh, George Brack. Although his contribution uh, is very less if we compare with uh, Pablo Picasso. But he also contributed a lot in Cubism. And uh, he, through Cubism, Pablo Picasso and uh, George Burke wanted to bring a change in the society. They wanted to uh, make a movement. Because as I have said earlier, that through Expressionism, through Impressionism, through Post-Impressionism, through Fauvism, through Dadaism, through Surrealism, through Abstractivism, all these isms, artists, they, they express themselves. This was a movement for them, art movement. I will say it was an art movement. But through that they they expressed their views. So cubism also was there very different because then in cubism uh, artists, especially Pablo Picasso and uh, George Burke used geometrical shapes rather than using uh, biometric shapes. Uh, and uh, if I talk about some of the sculptures, then uh, Pablo Picasso made many sculptures which were different from others at that time. Because uh, as I have said, uh, he Again and again I am saying that he experimented and he was a prolif prolif prolific artist. He was a very versatile artist. So, uh, I will say that uh, from his life, we need to understand that throughout our life, we need to experiment with different mediums, with different materials, with different uh, forms, with different shapes, and uh, with different uh, things which are available in front of us. As I have said, Polaj uh, is one of the best example which he made it. So for uh, for Experimenting collage is really a best medium because uh, through collage painting, if uh, people don't know how to draw, if people don't know how to paint, if people don't know how to make a beautiful painting, they can also use uh, collage painting, they can also make collage painting, they can cut out pictures from different magazines, different books, different newspapers and they can paste it and they can convey their message, they can convey their thoughts and ideas. So this is a very good uh, example for everybody, this uh, collage painting and even uh, especially uh, in, in, uh, in healing arts, uh, doctors are using collage painting to uh, treat a patient. In the medical uh, field also, uh, doctors are using uh, collage painting to treat a patient which he, uh, which Pablo Picasso started in 20th century and this is 21st century. So that means uh, it has a great uh, impact on patients, it, it has a great impact on uh, people's lives. So, uh, and finally uh, I need to say that uh, this great artist, this versatile artist died in 1973 and 
died in 1973 and at that time he was 92 years old so during his lifetime he he made so many paintings he made so many sculptures he made so many drawings which were experimental, which were different from traditional art. And another thing which I have forgotten to tell you that is, he was very influenced from African mask also. This is a very important point. He was very influenced by African mask and he made some mask also and he, uh, in his painting also we have seen that he used the same kind of drawing and he was completely influenced by African traditional art. That's why I think he has said that uh, in art there is no past and there is no future, there, that is the present. Present is the main uh, important thing. So, uh, so this is uh, all about uh, Pablo Picasso and uh, I think uh, I have tried my best to say something about Pablo Picasso. Uh, next time, uh, if I get a chance to say uh, again in detail about Pablo Picasso, then uh, I'll, I'll add some more points so that you can come to know some of the new things about Pablo Picasso. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you and thank you so much.